Hey folks, it's Rhiannon, and I just wanted to touch base about last week and what we have going on this week. So first, I really seriously enjoyed watching your presentations last week. I feel like I got to know all of you better. I got to know about your culture, got to know a little bit about you, and I got to know about your speaking skills as well. So uh, this week, we've got even more excitement coming up. Your major project will begin this week. That's the social justice essay. And in class, I mentioned that we will be doing three parts of this assignment. First part is gonna be the annotated bibliography. That part starts this week. Your topic proposal for that social justice essay is also due this week. The social justice essay will form the basis for your final speech this semester. So let's go over a little bit about the social justice essay itself. I like to think about the way that I structure my classes kind of like Kenneth Burke's quote. He said that um, he's a rhetorician, one of the leading rhetoricians of the 20th century. And he said that, he said, imagine that you enter a parlor and you're coming in a little bit late and uh, the people who got there before you, they've been talking about whatever the topic it is a long time before you got there. So no one can retrace all of the steps for you. Your first job is to listen. And after you've listened for a while and got a sense of all of the sides of the argument, once you understand the conversation and the multiplicity of perspectives and the different way the ideas can go, only then do you put in your or. And by putting in your or, Kenneth Burke means, you know, have an opinion. We've all seen people in our families, maybe we are those people, who have opinions about things that they're not informed about. Yeah, that's not a good thing. So the first thing we're doing this semester is becoming informed. The topic is institutionalized racism and classism in Kansas City. You can choose for your social justice essay to, to broaden out from that. Um, the social justice essay does need to be on social justice issues, particularly related to race and class. Uh, some of you may wanna branch out and look at immigration. Some of you may wanna talk about um, institutionalized racism in housing or education or healthcare. Any of those topics are completely valid. You want to find something that's easy to research, something that interests you, and something that you're passionate about. Because for the next four weeks, this is you're going to eat and, and sleep this assignment. So you really want to choose wisely here. Your work will reflect it if you are actually interested in it. And the same thing if you're not. So um, do us all a favor and choose something that you care about. Um, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to watch We Are Superman. That is a film, uh, a local film made by a UMKC graduate, Kevin Bryce. Um, it focuses on what racism looks like in Kansas City now uh, and a lot about classism as well. There's a lot of intersections between race and class, obviously. Um, and then you'll be reading next week Kevin Fox Gotham. You're starting Tanner Colby's book, um, Some of My Best Friends Are Black which walks us through the history of residential racism in Kansas City. It's pretty fascinating stuff. And honestly, I doubt you'll ever look at J.C. Nichols or hear his name in the same way again. Pretty fascinating. Anyway, so your social justice essay assignment is actually located in the week one folder. All of the details can be found there, but I wanted to talk a little bit about it as well. So it's going to be 12 to 14 pages in length. That's a long essay. It's longer than um, most of you have probably written at this point yet. I wouldn't get too focused on the length at this point. I would start with the topic and I would begin with the research. The research will guide the writing process for you. So um, the, you also need six to eight sources. You'll notice that the annotated bibliography requires eight sources. If you're anything like me and like most researchers, you do more research than you end up utilizing in the, in the essay or the speech itself. So for the annotated bibliography, you will consult eight sources. For the final essay itself, you will only need six. Again, all of these details are provided on the assignment itself. I just want you to address a social justice issue. Um, some of you, and I mentioned this in class, will choose topics outside of Kansas City. If you want to talk about uh, gentrification in St. Louis, that's fine. As long as you are addressing a social justice issue, that's fine. Um, I prefer it to affect a community that you are in or part of, so think about that. Um, 
And really that's about it. The week is gonna be a little lighter than it was last week because we don't have a, a speech and you guys aren't taking the anchor course. So right now I want you to focus on the topic that's due, um, it's due tomorrow. So I want you to start thinking about that and working on your annotated bibliographies. You do have some research essentials homework coming up as well. And um, a lot of you posted questions about when the journal was due. If it's posted on Saturday or Sunday and I don't specify, Sunday by midnight is fine. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, just as a reminder, the social justice essay topic is due tomorrow. Your annotated bibliography is due later this week. And the social justice assignment can be found in the week one folder. Awesome. Be groovy.